But now you put a lot of things in here uh, to try to make this bill seem less horrible than it really is. The fact is that even though you add $15 billion for a mental health and substance abuse fund, I find it interesting that a portion of that is called slush. I know what happens with slush funds um, uh, in states and here. And you're gutting coverage for the largest behavioral health uh, uh, payer, Medicaid, which contributed more than $67 billion for behavioral and mental health um, in uh, one year. Let me ask you, do you all agree that this measure provides a trillion dollars in tax cuts for primarily wealthy people and corporations? No. How much does it provide? It provides $1 trillion in tax relief to families who buy health insurance plans, patients who buy over-the-counter yeah. medicines, small businesses who can barely afford health care for their workers, uh, and for companies that have seen their jobs move overseas because Obamacare has taxed them out of business. I see. So the 400 wealthiest people in this country don't receive any benefit from this. Oh. No, I didn't say that. I'd I'm say asking millions you. of Americans receive I see. benefits All right. from so Washington do, taking less. Do you agree, and I made the statement um, um, when we started this, uh, that there were, in my considered opinion, that's why I favor single pay payer and universal health care, one person not having adequate insurance is too many. But do you all agree that some people, never mind whether a CBO says 24 million, you argue whatever you do, that for, when, if your bill becomes law, that some people, some millions of people will be uninsured. Do you agree with that? Well, I, I would agree with this, that if we do nothing, there will be more people falling out. Uh, because these markets collapse, and you're not going to have a chance but to we don't buy insurance. Have to do nothing. So that's, the that's exactly right. I agree with you. We don't that's have why to. we're here today. It, I represent as many people as you do. Every member here represents virtually the same number of people, and I believe those people want all of us to work I've together. I said that we should be locked up up here right. until we get a measure. Now we know that what? the bill provides 274 billion dollars in tax cuts for the highest income people in this country. You can name it anything that they're doing. Uh, let me ask you whether or not your bill, as presently or uh, before us, increases premiums 15 to 20 percent in the next two years. Over the next 10 years, it decreases. I'm asking you about two years. According to the CBO estimates, they believe that that will occur. But in the amendment today, so you, you they like will CBO. Make clear that lower health care, more affordable plans will be used by more Americans, which is why we provide the funding yeah. for more Americans. And you also make that fallacious something. argument about uh, when the people got the money, the rich people, that uh, it's going to somewhere or another get to the poor people, and it's going to create this great economy, and you're going to got in this measure, you, go to work. If you receive Medicaid persons and you're able-bodied, and I agree that able-bodied people everywhere ought to be working, but I also think that government, both state, local, and federal, should be the employer of last resort because all of us know that there are no jobs, and therefore it's going to be exceedingly hard uh, for You're people to get work. I want to end uh, this way, Mr. Chairman. Um, my friend uh, from Wyoming spoke of the speaker's notion uh, that this bill is an act of mercy, and I quote uh, her quoting him. I didn't hear him say that. Uh, but I want to give you just a few um, um, uh, organizations that don't believe it's an act of mercy. Easter Seals is greatly concerned uh, that this removes the federal funding guarantee that currently exists in Medicaid. The United Methodist Church says the bill has been promoted as a fix uh, to the health care uh, system in the United States, but it will do nothing to improve access and affordability. Instead, it will harm many congregations and communities in which we live and serve. People will die because of efforts like this to roll back health care. The Episcopal Church says this current proposal fails woefully short of our spiritual calling to care for the least of these, as well as the noble values upon which our great nation was founded. 
The Catholic Health Association of the United States says we strongly encourage the full House to reject this replacement bill and work to craft legislation that addresses the real issues without creating unneeded chaos in the system and coverage for those who need health care. The Washington interreligious staff um, our community, they say the scriptures of the Abrahamic traditions of Christians, Jews, and Muslims, as well as the sacred teachings of other faiths, in understand that addressing the general welfare of the nation includes giving particular attention to people experiencing poverty or sickness. For their sake and for the common good, we must continue to make progress toward a U.S. healthcare system that is inclusive, equitable, affordable, accountable, and accessible for all. The millions of people who could be affected deserve proof of comprehensive replacement that would protect their access to coverage. Um, uh, changes to the ACA or Medicaid will impact the health of millions of Americans. And I won't bother to uh, uh, go further, but I wanted to end by using Sister Simone Campbell, uh, uh, Campbell the network advocates for Catholic social justice. She says, after reviewing the House GOP replacement bill, the answer is a resounding no. Instead of providing greater health security, the bill increases costs for older and sicker patients and drastically cuts the Medicaid program, all while providing huge tax cuts to wealthy corporations and individuals. This is not the faithful way forward and must be rejected. I've said to you before that you're gonna own this mess and I wish it wasn't that way. I would be willing, and I believe many of my uh, 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 brothers and sisters here in Congress would be willing to work with anybody uh, to do what all of us know we can do or should do. I yield to the gentleman from Massachusetts.